Hello world, this is Dennis, Kilo Delta 9, Lima Victor Romeo. And as you can see by my uh, desk over here, I've had to make a little bit of adjustment to my radio setup. Uh, the other day I noticed that uh, over there in that corner, the metal bar uh, supporting that shelf completely pulled out. So right here in the middle that was um, sagging real bad. And uh, well, what he ended up doing, uh, or what my brother ended up doing for me, he's got some pieces of wood to prop up the center there. And as far as I can tell, that's uh, not too bad. It seems to be holding the weight of uh, the radios there on the top shelf, so that's working out quite nicely. But uh, I was uh, forced to do a little bit of rearranging. Um, you can see here that uh, there's a radio missing. Well, actually, there's two radios missing, and that's because... They are over here, my uh, Kenwood R2000 and the uh, TS590SG. The reason why I moved this over to my computer desk here is because this is the radio that I use for running the digital modes, uh, FT8, FT4. I've even started uh, playing around with slow scan TV on uh, on 20 meters, so that's, uh, that's been a lot of fun. And I just put that over here just, you know, well, because I needed to... Uh, I needed to move some of my radios around, and it's a good spot, <laughs> or it's a, a good way to prop up my monitor, because before I, I had a thing underneath here that had VHS tapes in it, and I wanted to move that upstairs, so all in all, I am uh, quite pleased with the new setup here, um, liking how this is uh, working out for me. Uh, it's the speaker I was using for the Kenwood. And I am quite glad that I held on to my other um, power supply here because uh, originally what I was doing with the transceivers, I was run them, running them all off of this uh, rig runner here uh, using this power supply. But the uh, cord for the Kenwood wouldn't be long enough to stretch over here. And I could have moved that from over here to the other side of the wall, but still it'd be a bit of a stretch. So luckily I remembered I still had that second power supply. So I uh, I just took off the Anderson power poles and I've got, you know, hooked up to that. So that's the, uh, that's how I'm running my uh, setup right now. Uh, just uh, do a quick pan over everything, the two Yesus. I got the Radio Shack DX394 back out on top of the, uh, the Yesu here, so I can use that one again. And then there's the ICOM IC7300, the uh, R75. Uh, I know I pointed this out in the last video, but I just want to show it off again. The Yesu FRG100. Here's my Linkel. And the Yesu FT991A. I'll have to do some more videos of this uh Radio and oh, looks like we got some signals here on 20 meters. I know there's a couple state QSO parties going on today, so I'll have to make a couple contacts before I go into work. But uh, yeah, this is the current setup here down here in the basement. Uh, you can probably notice the bit of the echo and the audio here. I'll have to see if I can put some stuff up on the walls or maybe get some more furniture in here to <laughs> absorb that noise because if I had to guess that's probably also going out on the on the airwaves when I'm talking to somebody but uh, oh well it'll just have to do for now but uh, hope you all enjoyed the video uh, hope you have a good weekend uh, peace and all that good stuff and 73 this is KD9 LVR